What's up everybody, welcome to Adorama XP, I'm Josh Soleil. Today we're talking about Xbox Game Pass, released in 2017 and arguably one of the biggest gaming subscriptions of all time. Well, let's get into it. What is Xbox Game Pass? Xbox Game Pass is a subscription service from Microsoft, which allows users to play over 100 games whenever and wherever they want. Now, new games are added all the time, and games from Xbox Game Studios are added day of release. So huge games like Halo Infinite, future games like Starfield and Redfall will be on Xbox Game Pass when they release. You also get discounts and deals to Xbox games, in-game items, and more. Now, there's tons of plans to Xbox Game Pass, whether you're just a console gamer, a PC gamer, a mobile gamer, or all three. Let's start with the first one. Xbox Game Pass for console. It's $9.99 a month and this plan works only on Xbox consoles. You have access to the entire Xbox Game Pass library and new games that are added in the future. You also have access to Xbox Game Studio titles on same day as they release. Member discounts and deals as well. So this is a great plan for those of you who have an Xbox Series S, an Xbox One, an Xbox Series X, and wanna stay in that console realm and don't really have any desire to go on PC or mobile. Now, for those of you who are interested in PC gaming and maybe don't own an Xbox, but still wanna play the awesome Xbox titles, Xbox Game Pass for PC is where it's at. Also $9.99 a month, and this plan only works on PC. Now keep in mind you do want to check out their PC Game Pass library because some games that are available on the Xbox console may not be available on PC. So just go through that list, filter through PC gaming, and just make sure the games you want to play are in there. Now you have all the same content from the Xbox Game Pass for console that are in this one. Access to new games that are added in the future, access to Xbox Game Studio titles on release date, member discount and deals, and this is where it changes. You also have access to EA Play, which is a library of top EA games on PC, exclusive rewards, and member-only content. So games like Dead Space, Madden, FIFA, you'll be able to play that on PC with that Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now here's arguably the best plan, and they call it the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. It's at $14.99 a month, and this plan lets you use Game Pass on console, PC, and mobile devices. So that means on an Android, I could download the Xbox Game Pass app, or on iOS, I can go ahead and open my browser and play all of my Xbox Game Pass games wirelessly without needing to connect to a console. Now you do, keep in mind, need to be connected to internet connection, and they do recommend seven megabits per second on mobile and 20 megabits per second on console. Now what cloud gaming does is you're able to stream the game instead of download it. So those big games like Call of Duty or Apex or Witcher 3, you don't have to worry about downloading those games onto your phone or onto your PC or console. You can stream them directly over the internet. You have all of the same stuff from before. So all the new games that are in the future, access to Xbox Game Studios on the same day as they release, member discounts and deals, the games from the cloud that we mentioned earlier, free perks including in-game content and partner offers, and it also includes Xbox Gold. Now Xbox Gold is a separate multiplayer plan if you plan on playing games online like Call of Duty, Apex, and you wanna play with your friends, FIFA, Madden. Xbox Gold is about $10 a month, but the Ultimate includes it. So for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you get Xbox Gold, which is $9.99 a month, all the new games that come out on release from Xbox Game Studios that are averaging 60 to 70 to $80 with tax, all for $14.99 a month. This is the best deal, especially because if you like to travel or you're away from your home a lot, you can play on mobile, and you can play on your laptop or on an Xbox console just taking it with you like an Xbox Series S which is super portable and easy to bring with you and it's all digital anyway. So that's the best plan in my personal opinion that Xbox Game Pass Ultimate because you get all of that included. Now for me, I'm a PC gamer. Now because of Xbox Game Pass for PC, I'm able to play those Xbox titles on my PC without having to buy an extra console. But let's think of it in reverse. If I had an Xbox Series S, I don't have to drop $1,200 to $1,500 on a gaming PC when I can play most Xbox games on my Xbox Game Pass via my Xbox Series S. And now that Xbox and Microsoft are 
taking on more companies like Bethesda, Activision, and Blizzard. It's only a matter of time before all those games become exclusives anyway. So it's something definitely to think of. With Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, not only do you get new games added to the Xbox Game Pass library, but you also get new games added to Xbox Live Gold to your library as well. Now, the biggest question you have for yourself is, is this for me? Is this plan, any of these plans, are they right for me as a gamer? Well, you gotta think about the games you play. Check out, link in the bio down below, their entire Game Pass library. Check out the games on Xbox and check out the games on PC. Do you see yourself playing at least two of those? If the answer is yes, then you're already getting your money's worth because if one month is $9.99 if you're a console gamer or a PC gamer versus $14.99 if you want the entire big ultimate plan, well, one game is gonna be 40 to 50 to $70 on its own, especially if it's a new game like Halo Infinite that releases at 60 to $70, add tax to that. So one month, not only do you get to demo the game, see if you like it, see if you wanna buy it, or just beat it in a month or two months, but you also get to save tons of money if you plan on buying those games anyway. So not only are you saving money, but you're also getting tons of perks and discounts included in those games and free games that constantly get added with that Xbox Live Gold if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Now it's a lot of words, it's a lot of numbers that just thrown at you, but bottom line, if you plan to play a lot of games or if you love to play games and you wish you had a more extensive library without buying them all, check out their gaming list because I guarantee you there's at least two, if not, I can even say 10 of those games in there that you either was interested in playing or you're playing now or you plan on getting. From there, decide if you are mostly a console gamer, a PC gamer, or both. Do you tend to, you know, when you're, if you're in school, play games at lunch break or when you're at work, playing games on your lunch break on mobile so you don't have to worry about getting home and playing? And with, especially with that quick resume, you can start immediately where you left off if you have an Xbox console, which is really cool as well. Are you more of a PC gamer? You like to sit at your desk, play PC games, or a laptop, you can take it with you. Is cloud gaming important? Are you constantly filling up your hard drive and you're realizing that, you know what, I don't have a lot of space to download another Call of Duty update? Something to think about. But keep in mind, you do need to have a really good internet connection. Best thing about this is Xbox makes it even easier to stay in the digital world, especially with the Xbox Series S. That's such a portable, affordable next-gen console that is so incredible that I can play all the latest and greatest titles that are out now or have yet to be released and all I need to do is pay $9.99 a month to, to play Redfall instead of dropping almost $80 on it. That is a huge deal and it's incredible and it, it gives more access to to people out there in the world that might not be able to afford the latest and greatest for games or be able to afford a $600, $600 console or $500 console. So I really love what Microsoft and Xbox is doing is they're making it more accessible for gamers out there, especially if you just own a cell phone. If you just have a cell phone, you get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, there you go. You can now play all of those Xbox titles in the palm of your hand. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content and leave a comment down below if you got Xbox Game Pass and what games you're playing on it. Check out our other previous videos like which GPU you should get and most iconic female video game characters of all time. We have so much content out there and it comes out weekly and we love it if you check that out as well. Check out our Twitch channel and our Discord, all links in the bottom. Join the Adorama community. We'll see you next time. Peace.